Oh. All right, let's try it again. To this, you're supposed to report to Leonard Street, a distant DA by the name of Miller. And he says right away. Like this? Well, uh, if I was Miller, you know, uh, I wouldn't mind a bit. Oh, come on. In New York City, there seem to be more assistant DAs than chewing gum wrappers. I'd never heard of Miller. Miller had heard of me. This is Mrs. Henderson. I Mrs. Didn't... Henderson is the warden of Hudson Penitentiary for Women. Three weeks ago, a girl in our minimum security wing, wing G, didn't answer morning count. The matron checked and found her dead. Sometime during the night, she had been stabbed 14 times. Knife? Scissors? No, a tablespoon. Sharpened, filed to a point. We assume that it was done on one of the stone floors. Somebody must have really hated her. Only three women had access to her room. All three hated her. Here are their case histories and files. To find the murderer, someone got the bright idea of planting a policewoman in the wing with the girls. I'm not sure I approve. She'll have no cover. She'll be completely on her own. Only the warden here will know that she's not a real convict. Is, uh, is this a definite assignment? That's up to you. We're on a spot. If the murderer isn't found, they'll start screaming that I'm running a country club, a boarding school, that I'm coddling women who are, have sinned against society. I don't want to lose our minimum security weight. You see how important it is, Jones. Modern penology demands... Uh... Look, Mr. Miller, I'm a policewoman. Not a sociologist. You just uh, tell me where to report. By the time I entered the prison, I had been given a complete new identity. Previous arrests, fingerprints, court action, everything. I was Billy Jarrett, serving five to ten for armed robbery being transferred for good behavior. The district attorney's office had done everything they could. Now it was up to me. Alone. This is your room, Jarrett. But don't let the curtains fool you. It may seem like a hotel after your stay at Auburn, but I guarantee you it's not. You're in this wing because they think you're a good rehabilitation risk. Your room door isn't locked. You have a certain amount of freedom within the block. But you'll have to prove it to me. One misstep and you can kiss all this goodbye. Understand? Yeah, sure. Yes, ma'am, Jarrett. You've been around. I've seen your record. Yes, ma'am. You find the regs in the drawer. Make sure you know them. It's all down there. Lights out at 10. The swing eats on the first. Don't leave the room. Well, Duchess? Good evening, ma'am. I suppose you didn't hear anything. When, ma'am? Just now. Oh. I did hear some sort of crash. It seemed to come from way down the hall. I was so busy reading my fortune, I didn't notice. It's really very good. Can you read it? I wonder what the warden would say if I told her that one of her pets in minimum security spends all her spare time trying to make whiskey. Driving while drunk. Manslaughter. First offense. Good background. Suspect number one. Paula Shane. You know, I was just thinking, ma'am, must be very lonely here for you without Helen. You're in enough trouble, Shane. You better keep your mouth shut tight. Bye, 
the way. I thought you'd be glad to know. There's a new girl in Helen's room. Hi. I'm Lois. So? Suspect number two. Lois Gray. Ending a one-year sentence. Shoplifting. Possible crypto. I'm getting out soon. You're lucky. How long are you in for? So what is this, truth or consequences? Just trying to be friendly. I don't want any trouble. Like I said, I'm getting out soon. I just like to be friendly with everybody. My name's, uh, Billy. I fixed up my room real nice. They let you do it, you know? You ought to fix this place up. Helen never did. Who's Helen? She had the room before you. Oh, yeah, her. It's too bad what happened to her. Too bad? <laughs> Are you kidding? Listen, we almost gave ourselves a party when it happened. Nobody liked Helen. Not even me. And I get along with everybody. Hey! A lipstick! A brand new lipstick. Keep your hands out of there. I'm not hurting it. Put it back. I just want to look I at said it. put it back. Lois. Do what she says. Sure. This is Taffy. What's your name? Jarrett. Billy Jarrett. You're from Auburn. What makes you think so? You know Mary Chernick? I'm getting a little tired of answering all these questions. Why don't you ladies retire? Why don't you ladies retire? <laughs> What do you do? Do you jump when she talks? Oh, you're a tough one. I'm tough enough. Mm. You got a lot to learn. See you around. Tough one. Taffy Connell, finishing six years, armed robbery. Of the three, the unquestioned leader. Of the three, the most likely suspect. Stay away from her until I do some checking at Auburn. Sure, Taffy. Only why? Just do as I say. Taffy's word was law on Wing G. I found that out at the days past. I couldn't relax my guard for a moment. Well, it's better here than at Auburn, ain't it? That all depends. Yeah? On what? On how hungry you are. <laughs> the sense of humor. You know, I don't know if I like the idea of sleeping in a room somebody got murdered in. Fourteen times, I heard. Cut. Fourteen times. <laughs> That's something like a world's record, isn't it? Animals. Food here is bad enough, but the way the animals eat is appalling. Here we go again, girls. You know, I don't blame you. I would like to sleep in a room. Oh, some... The salt. The next step came quickly. Taffy passed word I was to be in her room at night. She didn't have to say, or else. I knew she meant it. It's 8 o'clock. So what? I mean, Taffy said you want... If you want to stay in here, that's okay with me, but don't keep giving me all this jazz about Taffy or Daffy, whatever her name is, is I'm not interested. Soon you'll be trouble. We'll all get in trouble. Well, why don't you just go to Taffy's room like she said? We all did it. It'll be over in five minutes. Oh, yeah. I 
I uh, was wondering if maybe Lois forgot to tell you. Like coming at your room at 8 o'clock? Now she told me. I was just wondering if she forgot. How could she? I told you you could come here and here you are. Oh. Smart girl. She's a smart girl. Look, smart girl. Up at Auburn, you were the big cheese. I know all about it. But down here, the, the girls sort of look to me like uh, I do certain things for them and they do certain things for me like uh, taking turns sweeping my room, seeing that my uh, shoes are kept nice. What do you do for them? Mm, this is a big place. I see they don't get hurt. Mm -hmm. Well, I can take care of myself. She sounds just like Helen. Shut up. Okay, smart girl. Starting tomorrow, you sweep my room, make my bed. Starting tomorrow, you give me two packs of cigarettes a week. Starting tomorrow... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, boy, you better get out of here before I die laughing. Shut up, the matron will be in. I don't want any trouble. Billy, take it easy. Just because this big ox tells me to? Look, maybe she can snow you, but not me. All right, smart girl, you're asking for it. Oh, look, get her out of here, will you? She's smelling up my room. I won't stand for that kind of behavior in my wing. Now, for the last time, who started it? Ma'am, it was Taffy. Well? Yeah. Yeah, I started it. And once more, I'm not through. That's enough! All right. The rest of you girls, back to your rooms. Thank you, Jarrett. Carlo, you come with me. I've done it. Taffy would be out of circulation for at least 24 hours. I had 24 hours in which to act. Taffy drew 24 hours in solitary as a result of our fight. I gambled that I could overcome the other's animosity. As the day dragged on, it looked like I'd lost. From what I heard, Helen must have been a real crumb. Hmm. Somebody must have really hated her. A real crumb. Like a sadist, you know? It's a lot of trouble filing down a spoon. Takes a long time to make a knife out of it. What do you think, Lois? Taffy was coming out in the morning. That night I tried once more. Mind if I watch? Your turn. Playing Rummy? No, we're playing Fink. You know the game. 
What are you trying to do, make trouble? Take Helen's place? Wait a minute. Helen was a fake. She got along with the matron real well. She was a first-class fink like you. Now, hey! I get this straight. One thing I hate is to be pushed around. Taffy's running that right now. I'll be glad to teach you two any time you say. Once again, I faced a dead end. Too worried about staying out of trouble. About her time off for good behavior. Paula? Paula was no killer. I was certain of that. That left only Taffy. Taffy, who strangely enough had said nothing, had done nothing about my action. Something had to be done. To shock them, to jar them, to make them talk about Helen's murder. Look at Jared. What are you thinking about, Jared? Something else to tell the matron? <laughs> yeah. How'd you guess? It was a wild idea. But I had to try something. The murder weapon. I'd steal one. Mrs. Henderson, I know it's going slowly, but believe Another me. Another incident in the minimum security wing and it's finished. They're after my scalp. I don't coddle the girls, but I do feel that I owe it to society to help them and not to punish them. In the long run, it's society that will pay if they come out the same as they go in. But it's exactly for that reason that I feel that I... Jones, listen. After every meal, the silver is counted. Oh, Mrs. Henderson, if that's what you're worried about, don't. I took the spoon. Did you take two of them? What? Did you take two spoons? Fink, how's the board? Hurt her a little, Taffy. You gonna be a good girl? I'm waiting. For what? Don't be coy, Jared. A shakedown this afternoon while we're at lunch. Why? How should I know? Tonight, you went to the warden's office. Talk, Fink, or you'll wish you had. Well, you don't scare me, Carmel. You wouldn't do anything here. Oh, you're right. I wouldn't do anything here. But I told you once before, this is a big place. Okay, you win. The warden called me. I didn't ask for an appointment. Yeah, go on. She offered to help me get a full pardon. A full pardon? For what? Of all the phony stories, you must think we're children. A full pardon if I help her find out who killed Helen. If you help her find out... <laughs> and you think you can find out. I don't have to find out. I know. We all know. Paula did it. She's lying. Lois did it. No. It wasn't me. It was Taffy. <laughs> we all did it. <laughs> <laughs> The first time in my life I was a decoy without a gun, a cover, surrounded by guards. I was more alone than I'd ever been. Alone and very tired. Around two I, I woke up. I'm not sure it was the sound that awakened me. It was so faint. The sound that was almost not a sound. Unless you listened for it. The sound I'd been expecting. The steady scrape of metal against stone. 
I tried. I tried so very hard to stay awake. The darkness was deep. So deep. almost up. Now you want to get out of here. Your little girl, she's looking forward to seeing you, your baby, remember? My baby is dead. She died last month in a hospital. They buried her in a little grave. No one knew where I was because I was supposed to be out by then. You're not like Helen. Helen kept me behind bars while my baby was dying. She gave me things. Said I could keep them. And then she told the matron that I stole them. She laughed, Helen did. She thought it was funny when I took my time away. So you see, if you tell them about Helen, I'll never get out. And I've got to. See where my baby is sleeping. I want to put some flowers there. Lois. Lois, listen, I, I understand. Billy? I'm sorry. The, the drawer. The drawer? Yes, remember? Remember when you started to, to take my lipstick and I, I got so mad at you? It's because I, I didn't want you to see. I have a I have a little boy. And his picture's in the drawer. A, a, a little boy. You have a... He, he's staying with my aunt. He's only five. He, he wrote me a letter. Well, he, he didn't really write the letter. But he, he put little scratches at the bottom, and they're supposed to be his name. His... His picture's in the drawer. Would you like to see it? It's right in the drawer. <laughs> Jared, Jared, please don't tell her. Please give me a break, Jared, please. What's going on here? Jared, have you gone crazy? She is crazy, ma'am. She attacked me. She, she, she said she wanted to talk to me, and, and then she tried to kill me with, with, with that thing. It won't work, Lois. You, you, you know that I, I don't want any trouble. I've only got three more months to go. And she, Jared, Jared knew that. She knew that, you see? My name's not Jared. I'm Patricia Jones. I'm a New York City policewoman. If this is some kind of a trick... It's no trick. You call the warden. She'll tell you everything you want to know. All right. But I'll be right back. You'll tell them? About my baby? I'll tell him. Maybe... Maybe they'll understand. When it's over, it's always a relief. This time, even more than usual. But walking down the corridors and out of the prison, I thought of the warden's concern for the future of her minimum security wing. And then I knew. Punishment or rehabilitation. It means a lot. Those first few steps of freedom. <laughs> 